Hm? Oh, I'm sorry. Did I wake you up? I have no idea how we ended up in this position. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no wonder I slept so good. I was wondering what it was. God, I'm so sorry. I warned you that I move a lot in my sleep, but you insisted on us sharing a bed last night. Yeah, yeah. Here, let me move over. <laughs> That's what happens when you don't listen to me. God, I must have been crushing you in your sleep. Did you not feel a heavy weight on you? Hmm? No. That's interesting. light as a feather. Me? Okay, I'm not that skinny. Relax. <laughs> For some reason, your bed is way more comfortable than mine. Do you think we can trade? <laughs> well, for some reason, I feel like any bed is always more comfortable than my own. Yeah, something about this one is different. Or maybe that's just you. I mean, I did technically use you as my bed. Sorry about that. <laughs> you don't seem too bothered, though. Oh, that was the best sleep you've ever had, too? Really? Well, that's a relief to hear. Yeah, I don't remember much of last night either. All I can recall is a group of men hitting on me and bothering me in the middle of the night. And I remember calling your phone. Well, you are my emergency contact, after all. Yeah, I know I wasn't being very careful. I mean, I drink way more than I usually do, and... I have no one else to blame but myself. I shouldn't have been walking alone at that time of night. Well, of course. Who else would I have called? You're always there whenever I need you. And I know that walking around in the middle of the night alone is not safe, but I wasn't in the right state of mind last night. Please stop being mad at me. You know I hate when you give me that cold shoulder. Would a little hug help? Hey, I'm talking to you. Oh, come on. I'm here now, aren't I? Safe and sound. <laughs> Good. That's the smiley like. I honestly don't know what I would have done if you hadn't showed up, you know, on time last night. Thank God you were close when I called. <sighs> yeah, yeah, I know that I need to drink more responsibly. Hmm? Why was I drinking so much? <sighs> God, don't make me talk about it. Yeah, I know. We haven't been talking much, I guess. The truth is, I've been really stressed out. I've been stressed out about my new job, moving out into a place of my own, helping Emily with her wedding arrangements, and on top of it all, dealing with a bunch of failed dates. <laughs> I just needed a distraction to get my mind off it. Yeah, I don't usually drink alone either. I know I should have probably done something else. 
What? Why haven't I called you sooner? Well, you know I hate bothering you. The last thing I ever want to do is dump all of my stress on you and be a burden. Yeah, but usually when we go out, we do fun things. We don't talk about our feelings. <laughs> I'm not a burden. Yeah, I guess. But I still don't want to drag you into my problems. Frankly, you are the one person that keeps me sane. The person I come to whenever I want to relax and have a good time. Being with you just makes me forget about everything. About all of my worries. Then why didn't I invite you to drink with me? I, I thought you might have had better things to do, better plans. I didn't want us to hang out and have that turn into a pity party. My pity party. You know I'd invite you out with me any time, right? I mean, I was thinking of you last night. I had been dying to call you way earlier, but I let my anxiousness stop me. I'm sorry. Yeah. I know you are. Thank you. For being there for me last night and every time I've ever needed you. I honestly don't know what I would do without a friend like you in my life. I think my life would have no meaning. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. I appreciate that. And I hope you know that I'll be here for you just the same. You better not call anyone else when you're in trouble. <laughs> I didn't think you would. What's that? Did I consider calling someone else instead? Hmm. What's that I'm hearing? Is someone jealous? <laughs> oh, you're not. You're just wondering. Hey, look at me. Tell me that you're a little bit jealous. Admit it. Would it have bothered you if I ended up calling someone and spending my night with them? No? Then why aren't you looking me in the eyes? <laughs> God, you are so full of it. Oh, you're flipping it onto me now. You're asking if I want you to be jealous? I mean, duh. I think a little bit of jealousy between friends is normal. We've always been a little territorial of one another, especially since, you know, we've been inseparable since the first day we ever met in freshman year of high school. You were such a geek back then. <laughs> Do you remember how excited we were when we found out that we listened to the same bands? We were buying the same magazines and everything. Yeah, the book fair. Those were the days. I don't think I'd ever bonded with someone so quickly. <laughs> You've always been there by my side. Fighting the boys away, picking up arguments with whoever tried to disrespect me. I was so shy back then, but being close to you, that brought out, it brought me out of my shell. I started to make more friends, I wasn't afraid of being myself anymore, all because you made me feel so safe and content. Sometimes, I wonder what would happen if you end up dating and falling in love with someone else. Someone who will probably never love you as much as I do. Um. Oh my god, no. No, no, I, I didn't say anything. What? 
love you. Yeah. Yeah, of, of course I love you. And I love you as a friend. That's all. Why am I all red? I'm not red. Red? <laughs> it's the morning, that's why. <laughs> Duh. Then why am I so bothered over you dating someone else? <sighs> I guess this is it. <laughs> Fine. Yeah, you caught me. Yeah, I do love you. I love you so much. You don't have to say it back. But I just have to let you know that I do have feelings for you. I felt them for a while. I was just so afraid of telling you. Afraid of your reaction. Afraid of losing you as my best friend. But obviously I love you, you idiot. If I didn't, then I wouldn't have jumped at the first opportunity to call you last night. As soon as I heard your voice, I felt relieved. Like I can breathe again. I knew that I would be okay. And then you showed up so quickly and you were not afraid of fighting those men to get them off my back. Sometimes I wonder what I did to deserve you. But you really are the one thing in my life that's right. I've never been more sure of anything. But look, I, I understand if you want me to leave. I wouldn't blame you if you told me that you never want to see me again. Well, would you say something? You're scaring me. Uh, I <laughs> What was that for? You love me too? Thank God. That's the best news I've ever heard. God, sorry. Yeah, I get like this in the morning, you know me. Yeah, I love you. I, I love you more than anything in the world. so cute in the morning. I've been signs to play with your hair, but I didn't want you to find it weird. The truth is, when we were cuddling at night, I woke up in the middle of the night and I hugged you. I hugged you really tightly. I guess I ended up falling asleep on your chest and I woke up in the same position. Yeah? Just didn't think you'd catch me. Well, yeah. Being so close to you, it gets me nervous. Especially when I've been trying to hide these feelings for you for so long. Having to pretend like we're friends when there's obviously more there. It's hard. It's really hard, but I'm glad that I finally told you how I felt. I feel like a huge weight has been lifted off my shoulder. <laughs> You're amazing. Nope, I said it first. I, I said it first. Let's leave it at that. We're not fighting. I'm not doing this. It's too early. <laughs> I think we gotta figure out what we wanna eat first. I'm thinking 
chocolate chip pancakes with lots of syrup. I'll make them. I know you like when I make pancakes. Besides, I kind of want to spoil you a little bit. Oh, you want to spoil me? Well, that's too bad. You have plenty of time to do that soon enough. But right now, it's my turn. So, shh. Don't say anything else. <laughs> so does that mean that you wouldn't mind if I slept on top of you again tonight? No? <laughs> that's what I thought.